Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben here, back again with another vlog. Uh, today we are finally getting the 350Z's bumper fixed and we're also going to do some other uh, sweet stuff. So we're going to Custom Coatings in Albany. Uh, it's my mate Grant, he works there, he runs the shop, he is an incredible painter and just an all around good dude. So I'll just drop it here first, if you need anything, paint, uh, smoking headlights, tail lights, um, what else do they do, like cut and polish. Uh, wheel repair, any sort of painting, you go to Grant at Custom Coatings in Albany and you tell him I sent you and he'll sort you out, alright? So yeah, um, just finished up my jobs for the morning, got to had a few shoots. Uh, I'm going to head over there now and we'll talk to Grant about what we can do. Uh, so we got the insurance money to pay for the bumper, um, but we're going to do a bunch of other stuff too. Might smoke the tail lights and might do some interior uh, carbon fiber stuff as well. So anyway, let's go see Grant and we'll have a look. meets for a while you'd probably seen my car had a few of them and you'll know that the bumper is fucked ass and that's because the uh, towing company when they towed it they just completely fucked it they ripped the entire thing off so I got that all sorted by the insurance company um, Grant's gonna fix that up for us here this week here he is look at him look at him go man <laughs> <laughs> What's up, G? How you doing? What are you up to here? Look at that shine, man. Look at that shine. Alright, so if you guys have seen my car at my mates, you know that the bumper has been fucked for a while now. Uh, it got towed. Um, that's kind of my fight, you know, towed in a parked in a <laughs> in a dog park in the area. <laughs> Um, but it was only there for like five minutes and I came out, it was gone. I thought it had been stolen. Um, but they, anyway, they towed it, they completely ripped the front bumper off. I just, I just shoved it back on, it's been flopping around there for a few months now. So, I finally hit up Grant, I was like, dude, you need to, you need to, you need to fix my, <laughs> really my floppy bumper, man. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you had some ideas as well for uh, what else we could do. Yeah, the right look, the car's generally tired looking, so there'll be a few like tidy up bits and pieces, more blackouts. Yeah. Uh, obviously fix the front bumper as per the insurance side of the job, but then we'll be tinting the lenses, all the lenses, yeah. Yeah. Um, and a couple of loose touch up and then a, a polish, and then she'll look good as new. Yeah. Sweet, so let's have a look, let's have a look around. So we're gonna do, so so we're gonna, gonna get to this. We're gonna smoke all the lenses, essentially, so they'll be a bit blacker and not so chrome looking. Yep. We're gonna go probably satin or matte black on that badge, smoke down there. Awesome. <laughs> and then the tail lights are gonna get a smoke as well. It'll still be red, but just a darker red. Yep, um, awesome. Yeah, we might tidy up the, the carbon fiber yeah. spoiler. Get a bit of polish. Yeah, yeah. Some black on the badges. Yeah. Hell yeah. Again, they'll stay, but they'll just look different. Yeah. Well, you know, black on black, it won't be such a high contrast yep. between that. Awesome. And then, yeah, let's yeah, black these out a bit. We'll be, yeah, we'll be, those can go a bit darker than, than yep. the lenses. So yep. that will almost disappear into, into the bumper. Sweet. And then just like little touch-ups, you know, we'll just go around with a pencil, like the, yeah. the chipping paint. Yeah, there's quite a lot of, you know, like this car, it, I think it had a full, um, I think I have full respray in Japan oh, in yeah. 2015. The paint's quite nice and quite yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. In, it's in, it's in, I'd say I'd, I'd call it average condition. Yeah. So, but it's just it's been through a fair bit yeah. since the last time it was done. Yeah. So, so whenever the body kick, because the whole body kick was put on in Japan. Yeah. And I think the full car had a respray yeah, then. Yeah, and it would have done. I can see that that's been painted. You know, um, yeah. these telltale signs that that was aftermarket painted. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so since you have ownership of the car now, this is sort of the first full birthday yeah. that it's going to be getting and there's some pointless <laughs> dent removals and yeah. you know we'll get my mate to come in yeah. and, and have a look at. Awesome, so yeah, so when that, you guys probably know that my radar got stolen a while ago and um, I think it must have been maybe his knee or something, where is that thing? You can only see it from, well you can pretty much see it from every angle, god it looks bad on camera, but there's this big circle dent here. And you know when he went to smash the window, he must have just fucking kneed the door or something. Grabbed my $800 brand new radar and wow. 
fucking put a dent to my car at the same time. So yeah, we'll fix we'll fix that up as well and just yeah, just make the car a bit tidy, more yeah, nice to look tidy it up. So yeah. When you see any can feel there's a fair bit of contamination on the paint. Sides yeah. have been dirty, but Nah, that'll yeah. be a month afterwards and it's just like little things like this that will yeah, like yeah. these are gonna be um, restored back to yeah, perfect. clear and then that's yeah. stuck down nice and tight again so you won't really yeah. see and you'll see all your all yeah. those gaps and stuff. Yeah. Hopefully we can fix all of that. Perfect. Nicely. And we're also gonna actually have some um, some fog lights from the body kit we're gonna put in here. Yeah. And um, yeah, so those actually have their own bulb. Uh, they just fill up the space nicely. And yeah, I think I'll probably just take this bumper this uh, front license plate off to be honest, eh? Like, I don't know, like, I think it'll just make it look like even more aggressive because it just kind of like, it just interrupts all the lines does, of the front. It yeah, it's just, it's a base. Yeah. So we're going to clean it up essentially as well. Yeah, it's perfect. Look like. Sweet. Munt. Awesome. So we'll just give the car, we'll give the car yeah, a wash. Yeah, we'll just, just give it a quick wash before yeah. we bring it into the shop. Yeah. That way it's just, you know, we can check everything and, and inspect it, see if there's anything that needs to be done. But also it means we're not working on a dirty car, you know yeah. what I mean? There might be silicon on the tires. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that needs to come off. Yeah. So myself and Brad are just going to have a, a little, we're going to smash this thing out, yeah. get it done, get it dried off in the shop, and we'll get the front bumper taken off. Also, it's Brad's birthday today, guys. Is it? Oh, happy birthday, birthday mate. 4th of, 4th, 4th of February, 24th. Fuck yeah. Hey, you just turned 8 today. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, basically right now, I don't even have a fender liner under here because it started falling off, so I just ripped it out. Um, the bumper is barely even held on. It's held on, you know, those two bolts are gone. It's held on by a few zip ties in here. <laughs> two zip ties in here and two bolts on that side. I've seen this shit in my life. It's called Drift Spec. <laughs> Plaster over the damage. <laughs> wow, another cable tie. <laughs> <laughs> So funny seeing it like that. You just want to explain what we're gonna. So we're gonna like fill this up with. Uh... So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna. So I've, I've cut the the number plate plants off, so I can see what we're working with now. Okay. So I'll clean those edges up nicely, and essentially I will backfill that, and then fiberglass over the top of both sides, the top yeah. and the bottom, and then we'll just have a nice consistent center mouth. And yeah. obviously I'll block and smooth that off nicely. You won't yeah, even yeah. tell that those yeah, notches yeah. were there. And then I'll level that back edge as well. Yeah. And then we'll put mesh. I'll we'll just have one solid mesh one panel solid all the way through. One solid piece of mesh and it will be on the yeah. same level. It's still going to lean yeah. when the bumper's up like that. Yeah, so it leans back. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the mesh leans back a bit yeah. so it'll this bottom edge and the top edge will be consistent yeah. and it'll look nice and flush. I mean, you think we just um, like fiberglass them in rather than having these shitty little things? You, you could do and I'll, I'll probably use a um, I'll probably use another means 
of fastening. Yeah. The thing, the thing with mesh is when it comes to painting it in the future, uh, you yeah. want to have it um, removable, yeah. removable yeah, yeah. so that it makes it easier for the painter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many times I've had bumpers that have had uh, mesh put in aftermarket and yeah. there's just no way to remove it and it makes the paint it makes the paint job look just a little bit more shit yeah. than it needs to be. Yeah. So Fair enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in there but it will essentially be removed. So, yeah. But that's going to look way cleaner in general than that. Without the front license plate, I'm just going to put it in the windscreen <laughs> and uh, hopefully <laughs> I'm just here to do Hopefully we don't have any issues. I'm just doing what I'm told. <laughs> and then yeah, we'll fix so this whole bump is Yeah, look again. how Look how fast yes. this is. The whole bumper will be That's just Auckland speed bump. Yes. You know, with this is obviously part of the damage yep. um, that was caused from the towing accident. But if you <laughs> look like there, there's stress fractures uh, everywhere. Yes, yes. Yep. So we'll essentially sand and repair all of those. Yeah. And then do a test fit. Yep. And then the bumper will be good to go. And hopefully awesome. it fits nice and cleanly so it will get new gasket tape over here. Yep. There you can see that's a crucial mount point that's broken off. <laughs> yeah, it's very crucial. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, that's the, the objective is obviously to restore the bumper back to its new condition. New coat of paint. Boom, we might have to blend onto the guards. I have to check the color. Yep. But we'll see how it goes. Beautiful. Me. Nice. Hey guys, what's up? I just got home. Um, we had a massive day. Dropped off the car and then um, had to pick up uh, another car that I'm going to be using for a week. Uh, just to get around the jobs and whatnot. So, yeah, we've got some awesome stuff coming from Custom Coatings. I can't wait to see the car um, finished. Um, I'm going to go back there tomorrow and do some more filming, um, get some shots of them doing the paint, and just get Grant to explain you know, how they do things, because they're a real premium, you know, they are one of the, one of the best in Auckland. Like, they just do incredible jobs. I've seen a bunch of their work, and um, I just knew that you know, I had to go to them. So. You know, I can't, I can't really speak highly enough of them, and he's doing, um, he's doing me um, a big favour. Uh, he's doing a lot of work on my car, and um, he's doing it uh, real quick as well. I told him that you know I need it back real quick. Um, I'm going to link his Facebook, Custom Guidings, and Instagram down in the description below. Go, you know, just send them a message, tell them what you want, and um, tell them that I sent you, and yeah, like I said, he'll sort you out. So, cheers guys, thanks for watching, and um, there should be another one in the next few days probably. So yeah, see you next time.